All right, our typical reliable bus service took a turn for the worse today. News that its first bus driver had contracted the coronavirus. WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager has more now on the safety questions that raises for operators and passengers alike. The sign says not in service, but in reality, many of the buses which come out of the eastern division of Baltimore were still running routes today in spite of the fact that a driver has tested positive for COVID-19. Waiting for a bus at Penn North on the city's west side, Vonda Haney had no idea a bus driver near the end of her route on the east side had just tested positive for the coronavirus. It makes me extremely nervous, yes. But when the way they have it now, you don't have to interact with the bus driver because again, the buses are free and you're coming in from the back. The Eastern Bus Division shut down on Wednesday for a thorough cleaning after news that the operator had been infected, affecting some of its many routes and sending an alarm through many of the other drivers typically assigned there. Who she, he or she has come in contact with, um, we don't know. Local 1300 Union President Michael McMillan says, along with their fellow drivers, a single operator can come into contact with as many as 1,000 passengers per day and he questions the administration making it optional for drivers to work or to go home without ordering mandatory testing or quarantine. The supervisor who's sitting right over there um, in the car said that he has orders from his management to tell these operators who haven't been tested or uh, made aware of the situation to go to another division. Another driver from the Eastern Division who did not wish to be identified for fear of losing their job told us drivers there are assigned different buses each day raising even more questions over the risk of the virus spreading. Oh, God. I just want to get home. For Bonnie Bond, news of an infected driver added to her worries of contracting the virus since she has no choice but to make an occasional trip from Dundalk to the Bayview Medical Center for treatment. I have to get a CAT scan. So you came for a doctor's appointment? Yes, because I was diagnosed with cancer, lung cancer. In the absence of any new measures to try to protect these drivers, they will continue to go to work, being that mass transit is an essential service, and there's no question the city and state will try to keep it running at any cost. Reporting in Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.